All right, give me your name, your class, and your number. Um, my name is RJ Samuels, uh, class of 2024, number 35. All right, RJ. First year as a starter, you moved up from, from a reserve to a starting position on defense and outside linebacker. Tell me what that means to you being able to be on the field a lot more. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, coming from being a reserve on the um, varsity team the past two years, being moved around position to position, uh, it was very nerve wracking to play my first game as a starter, having a job all by myself. Because usually it's like I got like a big brother trying to tell me what to do or if I make a mistake, I know I'm correct and I'm not out here by myself, but I kind of feel feel like the burden's on me now, but. Um, Heavy responsibility carrying that field, right? Yeah. That's, that's exactly where you should be. Feel that responsibility and perform off of it. Uh, new program this year, uh, Guardians. Uh, being a senior on the, on the varsity squad, a representative as a Guardian. Tell me what does that mean to you? As you talked about having the teammates out there with you on the field. What does that mean for you to be a guardian for the team? Um, it means a lot for me, actually, because the, the past couple of years that I, I've been here, uh, a lot of people have been helping me out, like the older kind of big brother I see it as. And for me to be that for the younger guys, it, it means a lot. And it kind of builds a culture here on, in our team. So what's one thing that you were missing before that you want to make sure the younger Mustangs have as a guardian? Is it the leadership component of the teamwork? What is the one thing that you want to pass on? Uh, one thing I really want to pass on is like kind of a, a French. It's not, it's not always about the football. It's about outside of that too. Like the friendship in the hallways and the, the brotherhood. It's not just about how you're playing on the field. or It's about how you are as a person too. Great. That's, that's good. Interviewed a couple of kids already, and that seems to be the, the message program for Guardians to make sure that you're passing on that camaraderie and get to the relationship. Uh, obviously, Big Wrestler, uh, part of the Illinois national team over this summer. Uh, talk about what wrestling has helped you with for your life, for your goals, what you've learned from the wins and from the losses in wrestling. Uh, life is just, just a really hard sport. You know, it's just really hard to go out there and try to beat somebody one-on-one -on -one every day and getting your, your butt whooped and uh, I don't know it's like a it's a change your mindset change your mindset on a lot of things makes you a tougher human um I don't know I just love it oh that's good uh so talk about what your accomplishments were in wrestling uh, in over the course of the past year it looks like you had a really good year talk about your, your accomplishments on that before. um over the past year during the season uh, I won regionals uh was a state alternate for this year I had like 30, 35 of wins or something like that. Um, uh, over the summer I had, went to a lot of out of state tournaments, not a lot of tournaments and um, qualified for the national team, went down to Fargo, North, uh, North Dakota, competed down there, been some of the top guys in the country. Uh, it was all a good, great experience. Great, great experience, something I'm sure you bring a lot with you to football side. All right. Former Panther, how old were you when you started playing football? Uh, I don't even know, like six, seven? Six? What was that like back there to play for that? What were your coaches like back in your football? <laughs> was that maybe your favorite coach you ever had in your entire football <laughs> career? It's okay to say. Uh, I don't know, it might be. But um, it was it was awesome. It was just running around, having fun, not worrying about all these intricate plays. But there's just a, it was a lot of having fun with my friends on the field. So there's I love a lot that. of fun coaching you play your RJ. Wish you could have done it for a lot longer. Uh, senior year, got a few more months to be able to enjoy that. What are the plans after you're done with high school? Do you have any dreams or aspirations yet? Or are you still building them? Uh, I'm looking at wrestling in college, so I'm um, kind of still trying to figure out what school I want to go to, but that's what I'm looking forward to. That's awesome, man. RJ, have a great season. Thanks for stepping in with us, and we'll see you out in the football field.